We've always dreamed of traveling to the stars, and thanks to companies like SpaceX, that dream is becoming a reality. Recently, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, leaked some mind-blowing information about the new Starship that will revolutionize space travel forever. As we all know, the company was founded in 2002 with the goal of reducing the cost of space exploration and eventually making it possible for humans to live on other planets. Since then, SpaceX has become one of the most successful and innovative companies in the aerospace industry. They have developed a range of cutting-edge technologies and have successfully launched and landed numerous rockets and spacecraft. SpaceX's ambitious plans for the future of space travel are truly mind-boggling. While much of the attention has been on the prototypes for the Starship and Super Heavy rockets, Elon Musk has also hinted at a theoretical next-generation rocket, which he has dubbed the Starship 2.0. According to Musk, the Starship 2.0 would be a full 18 meters wide, which is twice the diameter of its predecessor. This would result in a doubling of height and a theoretical 8 times increase in surface area and propellant tank volume. This in turn would require roughly 8 times as much thrust and make the vehicle 8 times as heavy as the original Starship. The implications of such a rocket are staggering. The increased size and capabilities of Starship 2.0 would enable it to undertake even more ambitious missions than its predecessor. It could potentially carry significantly more crew and cargo, making it the perfect vehicle for large-scale space exploration and colonization efforts. However, the development of such a rocket is still in the realm of theory and speculation. SpaceX is currently focused on perfecting the Starship and Super Heavy rockets, which will already be capable of traveling to the Moon and Mars. But the potential for even more advanced rockets in the future is an exciting prospect for space enthusiasts and scientists alike. The potential size and scale of SpaceX's theoretical Starship 2.0 are truly outstanding, with an estimated diameter of 18 meters and a height of 236 meters. This rocket would be more than twice as tall as the iconic Saturn V rocket that took humans to the moon. To put this in perspective, an 18 meter diameter would make Starship 2.0 the widest rocket ever built, dwarfing even the impressive 10 meter width of the Saturn V's first stage. In fact, the only rocket to come close in size was the Soviet Union's N1 Block A first stage, which measured an impressive 17 meters in diameter at its widest point. But it's not just the width and height that are impressive. A rough estimate puts the gross fueled mass of Starship 2.0 at a mind-boggling 40,000 metric tons. This is an order of magnitude greater than the current Starship and would require a massive increase in thrust and fuel capacity. While it's unlikely that SpaceX will actually build a rocket of this size and scale, the possibility of such a vehicle is truly inspiring. With a rocket like this, humans could potentially travel further and faster than ever before opening up new frontiers for exploration and colonization. Of course, developing a rocket of this size and complexity would be an enormous challenge. It would require breakthroughs in propulsion systems, material science, and more. But the potential rewards of such a rocket are almost too great to imagine, and it's exciting to think about what the future of space travel might hold. The potential of SpaceX's Starship 2.0 is truly impressive, with the ability to launch over a thousand tons per launch, making it possible to launch an entire satellite, Orion, or the parts for a 4,000 ton interplanetary Orion with just four launches. This massive payload capacity could also allow SpaceX to launch factories and advanced production systems to the moon, creating the potential for a nuclear pulse propulsion capability that would enable manned interplanetary and interstellar missions. By developing this larger and more powerful Starship, SpaceX will be able to achieve its Mars targets faster. The increased capacity will make it possible to deliver the supplies needed by colonizers faster by reducing the number of trips required. Additionally, the passenger capacity of Starship 2.0 could be up to a thousand, reducing the duration of the waiting list for interested voyagers. But the benefits of Starship 2.0 go beyond just reaching Mars faster. 
the ability to lift more goods per trip and reduce the number of trips required could have significant cost savings, making space travel more accessible and potentially leading to new industries and economic opportunities. Furthermore, the potential for a nuclear pulse propulsion capability on the moon could be a game changer for space travel. By removing concerns about nuclear radiation from a ground-launched Project Orion, this capability could enable manned interplanetary and interstellar missions. This could also open up new frontiers for space exploration and colonization, leading to new scientific discoveries and potentially even new habitable worlds. It's clear that the potential of Starship 2.0 is truly exciting, and it's inspiring to think about what the future of space travel could look like with this kind of technology. The ability to launch massive payloads, transport more passengers, and potentially enable nuclear pulse propulsion, Starship 2.0 could be a key player in making humans a multi-planetary species. The massive rocket is powered by cutting-edge Raptor 2 engines, with 33 engines on the first stage and 6 on the upper stages for initial test flights. These engines represent a significant improvement over the current generation. The Starship has undergone several design changes, with the latest prototype Ship 26 featuring zero heat shield tiles, no flaps or steering, and no payload bay. Despite these differences, SpaceX intends to qualify Ship 26 for flight, which begs the question, why does it exist? One possibility is that Ship 26 is an intentionally expendable starship designed for testing various systems, including aerodynamic stability during launch. It could also serve as a longevity demonstration in orbit. Another potential use for the Starship is NASA's Human Landing System program, where SpaceX has been a fantastic partner. One of the unique features of Starship is its elevator, which is required to go from the crew cabin to the lunar surface. It's a very tall lander, unlike traditional landers we've seen in the past. Despite its unconventional design, the elevator is multi-fault tolerant and designed for operating in lunar conditions. On that note, I'll end this video here.